Welcome back everyone, I haven't posted in quite a while, so I'm gonna be dropping a banger tutorial today. And as you can see on my Chromebook over here, we have Windows um, on my school managed Chromebook. And I'm just gonna go ahead and close Task Manager, and um, why don't we just go on my channel really quick. And yeah, there we go. Um, you can also get Linux, whatever you want on your Chromebook, and it's completely free, and you don't have to mess up like your Chromebook, or possibly break it like my other methods do. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. Before we actually start this tutorial, I'm gonna have to explain how it works. Essentially what we're doing is we're gonna either create or use a server or just any computer, and we're gonna connect to that computer, and essentially everything we do is just gonna be on that PC or server or whatever, and none of it is gonna actually happen on our Chromebook. So our Chromebook is just gonna be connected to the device that does everything so it works kind of like a proxy but not really you'll see what I mean all right so for this tutorial we are gonna need a Chromebook obviously and some kind of other device to set up the whole server thing and you can use a phone but I would suggest using a PC or some kind of computer because it's just much easier to set up with Anyways, from here you have two options. Either you use your own computer or devices at home as a server to connect from your Chromebook, which can work, or you use a cloud server like Google Cloud or I don't know, something like that. So you're gonna start by going to cloud.google.com. And as you can see here, we have a button that says start free. All right, so after clicking that button, it's gonna ask for your address and stuff. And it's okay, you can put your real one, you can put some random one, it doesn't really matter. Then it's gonna ask for your payment. And if you put a fake card, it's not gonna work. But don't worry, it, it won't charge you. And it's not like a free trial where they charge you at the end. They, they don't charge you at all, from my experience at least. Um, don't use like a virtual card like privacy.com because it's just gonna flag and not work So now what you're gonna do is go to this page and if you're not on it Just go to this URL over here and um, you're gonna go ahead and click on create a VM if you don't see that just search VM instances um, There we go and as you can see I'm on VM instances right now So if you're here then you're on the right place and I already have a VM because you know I already have one on my account, but you shouldn't have one So you're just gonna go ahead and click create instance so now you should be on this page and you're gonna see all this stuff and honestly don't worry about it. Just click E2 or N2. It's it's not really not that important. Just don't pick something with like too high of a memory or CPU because you're just gonna waste all your, your free credits. And for the OS, Debian works completely fine for me. If you wanna set something else up, well, you do that, but I don't know, I'm not gonna go over it. Um, Yeah, all this stuff, just ignore that. But yeah, just go ahead and click this create button over here. When your VPS is ready, you're going to see the screen check and you're going to click on it and click on SSH. And what it means is you're just connecting to the terminal on the server. Okay, I'm in. As you can see here, I'm on Debian. All right, I'm going to put some commands in the description of this video. Um, what you're just going to do is copy them. And instead of pressing Control V, you're going to press Control Shift V like this. And as you can see, it's pasted all this stuff. And don't worry about it. Just paste that and press Enter. And uh, yeah, it's just gonna start working. All right, so after waiting quite a while, you're gonna see this screen and you're just gonna go ahead and click enter. Okay, if you see this, then we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay, so what you're gonna do now is look at whatever this username is and type in sudo password and whatever that username is and type in your new password over here. Okay, now we're gonna search firewall and click on it. We're gonna create a new rule. You can put whatever you want for the name. For targets, we're gonna click um, all instances in the network. It's just a lot more simpler. For source IP ranges, um, we're gonna do 10.0.0.0.0 slash zero. And over here, we're just gonna enable port 3389. If you don't know what this means, it doesn't really matter. Just do what I'm doing. And um, 3389 for TCP2. And um, create. All right, so back to the instance, we're gonna go ahead and grab the external IP, not the internal one over here, the one on the right. Okay, now you're gonna go on your Chromebook and go to this website, shellngn.com, sign up with your Google, or I mean, it doesn't really matter, it's just easy. And now you're just gonna go ahead and click here. Now you just need to put in the correct server IP, which is shown on your Google Cloud Console. Click this, and instead of SSH, you're gonna pick RDP over here. All right, so now you just need to put in your username and your password that you just set. If you forget it, then it's kind of a hassle to get it back. So make sure you don't forget to save it somewhere. Okay, now just double click on this. And we are in. I'm just gonna make this full screen really quick so it's easier to see. Put this in and enter. 
And if you ever have issues with your VPS, just run this command and it should be fixed. The Windows setup is like a hundred times easier. You just go into settings, click system, scroll down, go to remote desktop and click enable. And you just gotta do some firewall and router stuff. And that's really easy to do if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, honestly, just ask ChatGPT. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. If you need help setting up Linux stuff, um, check out my previous videos. There's a lot of stuff on Debian. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. See you in the next one.